Hello everyone. Uh, right now we are gonna work a little bit on my cross stitching. So welcome back to my channel. If you are first time, please subscribe, be my guest, be my friend. And if you are my long time follower, then you probably already recognize that we are working on puppy flowers cross stitch there is the only project left that I need to finish it was kinda in my plan for the May and two of the diamond paintings one is the four panel wildcats I already finished and as of today on May 28 I already finished my other project huge canvas that is 120 by 60 and this is the third project that I make plan to finish this month and I have to say that I, I can tell this is not gonna happen but at least I will have maybe a little bit of progress um, I still have three days uh, and I'm not sure if this is good angle for you right now to watch or not uh, but I have a three days so I'm hoping to get a little bit progress in this three days as of for now if I could show you one of my this flower here is the what I have so far this first one puppy I already add those nice pink kind of colors and now I'm working on my second flower in here I'm just going by the color uh, till my thread is finished then I kind of go and step to my other so in here I'm kind of like a roll because this canvas are very little so I roll and that way it's easy for me to hold in my hands to do stitch without fraying because this canvas is very small so it's not very comfortable for me to work on a frame and because we work in two kind of two stitch at the same time will be faster maybe a little bit to finish so we'll see how much progress we can do on this one as um don't know don't know don't know <laughs> i hope at least a half maybe well three days catherine says to me my little girl if you don't do any diamond paintings these days, you maybe will finish. Well, can I not to do diamond painting these three days? I don't know. But at the same time, I do lots of video recording. So I did uh, record like three videos already and I already have them on my channel I just wait in time to post live and some unboxing some whips so it's gonna be this cross stitch but I think this cross stitch video I will post on the end of this month well I will be stitching for this three days so obviously you will see a few progress on this cross stitching as I will go and we will see where we are and it's not very easy canvas to work on to be honest so it's not my view the way I work doesn't seem like work I cannot do perfect cross stitching video because always I fight with the angle especially by holding the canvas in my hands it's just not comfortable somebody asked me can't you just put your camera behind yourself well then how am I gonna see if I in frame or not I don't have my camera connected to the app so I could see myself on computer and I am gonna make sure I'm um, in frame which is if you have some idea from me what kind of app I can use to connect 
Um, well, I think once upon a time, long time ago, I did have connected my camera to my cell phone, but I think that was in my old cell phone. I have to check. Because if I put right now my ca camera behind me, that I cannot see the screen where I am and I'm going to be totally uh, lost in frame. So please forgive me. This is going to be a short video. Mostly just like an update how much I did. So I will be collecting this video a few days. And then we'll see how far I didn't make it to the end of my project for the May. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do. So let me show you a little bit better in a full screen where I am and then I'm just gonna adjust my light in here and I will show you just a minute. Okay, so if we look right now I'm gonna put my stuff away a little bit on this canvas and look at the, the flower already start to look very pretty uh, plus remember there is no back stitching yet so here I am I'm not if I flip the other side so that way you will see how much I need to stitch all the way to here right you can see where it's color coming out so it's a lot it's a lot I don't think I even done 50 percent yet it's like 40 maybe so let's see my progress maybe next day so I'm gonna be stitching right now and show you where I am May 30th and honestly I did not have too much time to cross stitch I cross stitched a little bit last night while watching movie with Catherine and just now started a little bit to do the red I started I have to this purple color gonna be this bright red so I did some progress not much I did this dark dark purple in here uh, this is very sharp scissors I shouldn't point them with them before I cut thread uh, I did some greens so I did some stitching but did not have too much time to do so now this um, color that I say dark dark purple uh, also I find out that the dark purple it's also has a back stitch of that and that is my number 154 DMC code so there is some uh, back stitching to go with it uh, but I don't have the color anymore so the only left it's a number two so that's how much threads left one full and one that I started and that's the need for the back stitch in number two uh, if I show you on this side it probably you're not gonna see much progress maybe mostly on this flower because I'm stitching by the color so it's like it's everywhere um, if I would stitch section by section you would see better progress that way it's kind of you can't see nothing till it's done Mm, but definitely I will fall behind with this project for this month because tomorrow oh no it's tomorrow is 31st will be so I still have a one day left but as yesterday I was moving furniture around so half of the day uh, I spent on cleaning washing floors vacuum moving stuff around and today in a few hours I'm gonna go to our besties uh, invite us for dinner so again I'm gonna uh, stitch a little bit right now and maybe tonight but it's not much will be done I cannot finish this as cross stitch and not as fast as diamond painting so what I was doing yesterday I'm gonna show you um, my brother-in-law give me this big fireplace and yes you saw you spot that's a brand new package that came yesterday so I will shoot up there two or three videos maybe so this 
fireplace was so big that did not fit between my little table that I have an extra kind of uh, and my doll cabinet up there so I moved that doll cabinet I needed to move like maybe um, maybe 10 inches or so um, and yeah my we kind of working out a little bit together and my husband's desk and then this one fireplace that I have a little one before on that spot I'm gonna move this fireplace downstairs because up there is always very very cold uh, even in the winter when it's heat go the that room not warm up for some reason and then I placed this mirror yesterday it's a heavy sucker but I managed to do it on my own so anyway mirror I was gonna put this way because um, I don't know maybe too high but this fireplace will be gone and will be a little table instead of here with sunflowers because you know I love sunflowers I love wild stuff um, yeah so this is kind of like a vlogging uh, I got this mirror on an uh, auction for a very good price and I love it so I will get back to you a little bit when I do more progress and hopefully I will be managed to there's not much uh, left in here on this first flower but because it's a uh, 14 or 16 count now I can't remember mm, yeah so the stitches are very very tiny it looks like it's a very little picture it should be finished like in a few days but no way it's take time so that's what I'm working with beautiful red threads very bright red and the flower already look kind of beautiful I cannot wait to start some uh, back stitch and maybe I even do some test and see where this dark purple go and maybe I can do some back stitching um, but it most likely will be maybe around flowers I'm not sure where so I need to, to see the pattern um, the, on the paper where back stitch and go um, and yeah because like I can see the some back stitching in here but it's probably going to be in green how many type how many we have we have four colors of back stitching so we will do this on the end I will see you with a little bit more progress it's May 31st yeah last day last day and I have some progress a little bit probably you're not gonna see it all but this flowers is left only I think to do in the center this blue yeah that's only one symbol left now in here and my first flower will be ready plus the second one already coming along nicely and if we turn another side the last time it mostly like was kind of here uh, so I did some progress but for the last three days I did not really have I didn't do any diamond painting and I stitch a little bit few hours a day so I stitched a little bit this morning trying to finish these flowers and I will finish I just uh, take a break right now and do some cleaning in the house and also preparing for dinner so I still have a time I'm not saying I'm gonna finish this is not gonna happen today uh, I got myself a little bit too much because cross stitching is taking much longer than diamond painting so I will have some progress a little bit more to the end of this month which is on the end of this day today uh, I will do so this flower should be finished and what else there's some pink color I see in here so I might be gonna be doing my next like after I do this blue dots I just can't figure out yet if this is all blue same symbol or this one looks like a dot this could be I don't know because when I look in here there's a one oh no this was turquoise I already did this color was under this dark purple so I have a blue squares those blue squares dark one I already finished so then I have a blue axis 
not no access all finished I think that's the dot in here for this flower centers uh, because what else I have in blue it's a circle that I already finished that and then I have light blue color so light blue color I believe it's this one, light blue color in here. Um, actually, no, it's a two colors in here. This is light blue, and this is slightly, this is stripes. You see that? Blue stripes and blue solid, very, very similar. Well, you can see them right in here. So uh, if you have a poor vision, you really have to be careful not to mix up. And then you have a blue again, but this blue, it's more like this one, like a arrows sideway, um, or like a check mark sideway, whatever it is. So I will be working till midnight today, maybe even to one o'clock. I don't know, and we'll see how this look like. I really wanted to do some backstitching, but this backstitching will take me even more longer. So I just gonna do finish all the way and just a little bit more reminder. This is so far we have on a top. So to the end of this day, we'll see how much I can do it. And then I'm gonna post this video, I think on Tuesday, because Monday should be my next unboxing, I think. And it's some now blinding me. All right, we'll see you soon. A few minutes later, the blue color is gone instead of that we have the beautiful dark dark deep um, red color I was working with the threads in here on the inside of the flowers so i think the shading in here are very pretty i can see the beautiful flowers and now i'm working on my second flower uh, with the same thread so obviously i worked till it's finished Ooh on work till I finish my thread then after I'm done this one I'm just gonna pick what's next color close in here and that would be this red so I don't miss them later um, I think oh no I do have a, a little bit in here and then I saw a little bit in here so I almost finished that no I guess I didn't touch the top one. You can see there's more of this red symbol. So I'm gonna go that one. Um, or maybe just finish all the way blue. There's not much in here, only a centers of the flowers and the third flower. So yeah, I will finish that uh, because I do work by the colors. So I will do that and then I just cannot wait to add some backstitching uh, I was looking for the um, cover picture for this cross stitching to compare how this flower look in here and in a picture I cannot find it <laughs> oh my goodness uh, I have to think first in which box I put my picture or maybe I put with some different cross stitching so I'm gonna look there and then uh, you can see if it looks the same or not. So see you in a few hours. It's a June 1st now and we are going to finish this video about my project for the May that I plan, what I finished, what I didn't. So obviously, as you can tell already, the cross stitching, I did not finish um, I did a lot progress in here and there's like there's some colors in here um, that need to be done but mostly big chunk I managed to do and thanks to the plan it's kind of pushed me to do faster to do more and create some progress on my cross stitching otherwise it would be sitting probably still in a box and not even touched um, so I, I like the way this flowers this flowers is completely done only need a back stitching if they have a back stitch on a, on a flower I can't remember right now so this project definitely I started kind of a little bit late on the month of May uh, when we started our first video when we decided to do 
uh, project for the month like it was in the beginning of the month so I think if I would have this last three days uh, to stitch more I would probably finish but I have also other things to do I did some moving furniture around my house and I do not have too many hours to cross stitch so this cross stitch definitely will go into the month of June and I already prepare uh, some plan that we're gonna cover in this video also what we're gonna do for next month I mean for this month that we already have as I have recorded this video on June 1st and you will watch this video on June 2nd I believe so let me show you the project that I did finish and I kind of keeping them in those bags from Dreamer Design I have in here three canvases it's it's kind of comfortable to to hold them up there you know three canvases can fit in here little ones and I just hang behind my door on a special hooks I have up there so for this month that I plan to finish and I did finish it was my wild cats that probably all of you already watch the video I show you in one of my unboxing from fun cell because this canvas was from fun cell and when I did my unboxing I showed you how this canvas looks like outside and I think it's a nice sunny day I might gonna take you outside as well and show you so what I can say about this diamond painting that um, I'm, I'm not very happy the way it's look like the first uh, mother and a baby they look very um, there's no definition up there it should be more his eyes totally not visible uh, so if you have like this kind of canvas you can even add a couple more dark brown beads up there to create kind of eyes that baby looking maybe baby sleeping but still should be a little bit more uh, the tiger I think look good and I like the third one panel in here the same thing is first one it's too much of the mother white chest and baby blend in with the head so after all if you look like from far you can see that it looks good uh, but just it's uh, about you if you want to order this kind of canvas or not and I did have lots of diamonds left as well with this canvas I never run out of any drills and uh, so this was my canvas to finish and I did finish and I'm really happy about it so I'm just gonna pull the back diamonds up always do diamonds up so your gems not pushing each other away from the glue and I using my clear cover original one just to keep it more clean and safe and I'm just gonna put back in the bag back into the baggie because the other canvases it's not that was planned for this month and then my other big canvas that I finished very fast as we started to create this one a bag from the huge canvas from Dreamer Design so it fit perfectly my cottage um, and yes this was my plan of finish months of the May and we already saw this canvas it's absolutely stunning let me untangle just a minute this canvas is very very big but also it's very very beautiful so I think um, we already saw this canvas finish but before it was um, kind of grumpy not sunny day so I, I promise you to show you some sparkles so why don't we just go outside right now it is very windy but hopefully not gonna flip my canvas into the grass uh, I wanna see this canvas outside how they're gonna look like okay so uh, before you look canvas outside I want you to, to see this cute video that few days ago I recorded from my house
house. There is one baby. Fall behind from the family. And it's staying by the roof waiting for the mother to come back. So let's go see if we can see on the roof. So here it is, mama and babies. Oh my god, drinking a milk. And this baby on the corner, he did not have to get to them. Well, I don't think she's stuck. But she's scared. Just hanging there. And I actually pat this part of the tail, but I cannot reach all the way. Did you like my squirrels? Aren't they adorable thing ever? I think this is like a first time in my life and probably gonna be last time I see mama squirrel feeding a baby. I thought that was so cute and OMG, I caught on camera and I was very, very happy about that. So now, as we finish already May, let's go to June. So obviously this cross stitch will go to the month of June to finish. I wasn't sure if I'm gonna finish in May and I think I mentioned in my video but I would love to. So this month for sure I know I will finish as is left not so much but also I want to finish in here back stitching as well. So this is priority number one to finish in the month of June wash, uh, do back stitching maybe first this time to try to see the difference uh, back stitching then wash together with you so this is going to be my plan for this month and then I pull out two old diamond paintings that I would love to finish uh, month of June as well and that is my coffee time let me move over a little bit how we can get into the camera Okay, so I did not touch this canvas for a long, long time. And I'm going to open just so you can see how beautiful this canvas look like and how much I already done. So this dark colors in here and like a beige, it's done those diamonds and pretty much like in here, this is finished. I love the colors, black and red look so beautiful. But now I figure out why it's so hard for me to do this diamond painting. Uh, well, first of all, this is double sticky glue sheet. So it's always kind of a little bit difficult to do this kind of diamond painting because uh, drills sticking much harder to it and it's, you can't move. So I'm doing this canvas one by one. I cannot use my multiplacer in here. And also I just figure out why it's harder because it's a black and white kind of canvas doesn't have a colors coordinating like we would have in different diamond painting so it's because everything is gray in here it's harder for your eyes to kind of recognize the symbols where they are because if I would have um, and like in here I have my other canvas from dreamers like there's lots of colors in here so I can see visually where the color I need to be placed in here I have to look to it uh, and very um, a similar symbol in here as well so this is my old canvas that I want to finish uh, if I say 90% uh, because I'm not sure if I can finish this month because I will do with one um, placer but hopefully well because I'm go all the way around I can't really say to here to here because I go everywhere I'm going like around this border to do those diamonds around but if I can finish 90% that would be awesome if I can finish 100% I would be thrilled 
so this is my next project to finish at least to put in my to-do list so that way I will try to finish because if it's just a sitting there and I'm just like okay I will do one day then it's gonna stay that way um, and I have in here diamonds all in here in one of those containers from the cake all diamonds in here and I write down which canvas that is so I don't mix it so I will start on this canvas again now my next project from old projects is the dreamers design forgotten memories I love this canvas so much but because we've received new canvases 2.0 um, and I started to work on those because um, you know as I am a brand ambassador and content creator I need to work on a new canvases to showcase it for you but this is definitely one of those gorgeous gorgeous images by Anne Marie Bon and I love her images I love her those confetti beautiful trees that sparkle amazing and all I done in here just a tiny bit a little little bit how can I show you just a corner in here and kind of a little bit in here of tree um, I outlined the bench and the uh, bark of this uh, tree started on the tree that's it that's all I done and usually when I receive my when I did my first canvas of this size I think I did like in four or five days uh, but because I'm going to have a lots of different project uh, for this month and I'm going to push myself to finish this one and I, I know I will finish this one fast because it's very easy canvas to work very applicable glue if you use a multi-placer it's easy later to move the uh, drills with the straightener tool and canvas is beautiful uh, and I do not have problem seeing those symbols on the old canvases is um, lots of ladies was complaining that it's not clear enough to me I don't have problems with this canvas so I am honestly think maybe sometimes machine maybe print a little blurry or something but uh, in a green one I would say you need to kind of go go after darker green and then the lightest green end up on the end and you can see the symbols okay but I did not have problems with dreamers design canvases yet I always have enough diamonds to finish so this is my canvas to finish and I have all these diamonds in here and they were placed in a little tray from dollar store but I use that tray for my new painting so I just put right now in here so this is my canvas number two that came from 2019 I started and then I no when I started I think I still work in 2020 a little bit and then new canvases show up and I started to work on the new canvases um, no maybe actually from 2019 yeah so that's the diamonds for that and now from my new and the cross stitch for new one I want to start because of your request we will start on this pirate as well this is such a little canvas that I can finish in one or two days if I just sit and place um, this is definitely project like for one day if uh, especially if you use multiplace or stuff like that so this one we will do together and ship I wanted to the pirate ship together with it well sailing boat really it's not a pirate ship but they would go nice together so if I have time for that one um, I will do it but I purposely kinda did not bring it to my plan because I have lots of more unboxing to do because I have received another my package there was long long time was traveling to me but finally found me uh, and I want to see what's up there and because I already know I want to start on one of those 
images from my new unboxing so we will put this one into our plan and then of course who saw my last unboxing that I was dying oh my god I was laughing so hard this little fellow make my day and every time I look at him he make me smile so <laughs> yeah thank you very much you are all so kind it didn't even twist my arms to tell me please do this canvas thank you you are all so funny and I will do this one like you know when I tired to work on a big canvas especially the coffee time from um, from Victoria's Moon um, I like to go to the little canvas that it's fit nicely on a desk you can flip on each side wherever you have your work I work by the color see I would start like right from the sky because it's the same color and use multiplacer in here um, so it's good to go from a little bit difficult canvas to such a little canvas and this is kind of like a relaxing canvas to me so this guy will be for sure for this months of my project and now so this is gonna be okay so one two cross stitching let me get it so this is gonna be two canvases of diamond painting coffee time and dreamers design and then cross stitching two new diamond paintings and then something maybe one more canvas we will pick from our new unboxing that I have uh, and you would think probably I'm crazy because it's a way too much looks like for one month but if I put this in my plan that that I know I will not touch something different canvases and will work on this specific one because I have this uh, thing uh, lately that I want to start something else but I think I need to finish this one because they are beautiful and long time waited I love Anne Marie Bones design so I really want to finish this dreamers design um, and uh, not sure about how shipping goes so far uh, because lots of country shipping stuff right now it is so windy hopefully my canvas not gonna fly away can we find the sparkle I don't know from which side will be better to record I think I need to look from the other side. I hope this is view better. We have in here those gems flowers. The A B is on a tree and pearls. I don't think I can see sparkle from here. Okay, maybe this way, okay. I think we found the sparkles. It's hard to record right now because it's so windy. I love it. The roof on this house. It's just brown gems. 